This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I use the Gizmo 3D with Transpose All Selected Subtools? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the Demo Soldier project here loaded in. And the question is asking about the Transpose All Selected Subtools option on the Gizmo 3D. So first I'm gonna go into the top here and I'm gonna activate Move, Scale, or Rotate, which is going to turn on the Gizmo 3D. And then if I hover over the top of the Gizmo here, you'll see there are these icons. And the icon at the very right side is called Transpose All Selected Subtools. Now this option, if turned on, is going to allow you to manipulate multiple subtools using the Gizmo 3D. So as an example, I've just turned this on and the demo soldier here has 11 subtools. So with this active, if I come across any of the options on the Gizmo 3D and simply click and drag, it's going to move all those subtools at the same time. So if I turn it off and do that same process again, you can see I'm getting single subtool movement, but then if it is enabled and I use the Gizmo 3D, I'm moving all the subtools. Now with this functionality, you may find that you don't want to affect all the subtools. So maybe you just want to affect one or another. Well, there's a few ways you can isolate a subtool. So when you perform this move action with the transpose all selected subtools turned on, that's only going to move specific subtools. So one method of doing this is that you could go to every subtool in your list here and apply a mask to it. So you could cover every subtool with masking that you don't want to move, and then any subtools that are unmasked, when you have this option active, you're going to be able to move those subtools. But that process takes a little while. You'd have to go through all your subtools and apply a mask. So that doesn't seem, you know, really useful of your time. So an alternate way in which you can determine what subtools are going to be moved when this transpose all selected subtools option is active is by holding control and shift and then selecting the subtools you want to move. So as an example of this, I'm just going to make sure I have Control and Shift held down. You'll see over here, it's gonna tell me I have the Select Rectangle Brush selected. And now I'm gonna come across the arm of the Demo Soldier here, and I'm simply going to click. Now you'll notice when that click is performed, you'll see that that subtool is still displaying its normal visibility. However, all the other subtools in my scene are now getting this hatch effect. So now I've just effectively isolated the demo soldier's body here from the rest of his tools. So now I can use the move option here and only his body is gonna go with it. Now let's say I want to you know, move his body and then maybe move this glove and his wristband. So to add to this selection, I'm gonna hold down Control and Shift and then click the wristband here. So you can see that that has now had its hatch marks removed. And then I'm also gonna select the glove and now if I use the Gizmo 3D with that transform all selected subtools, you can see the body, the wristband, and the glove are going together. So you can use this process to come through and determine which subtools you want to be affected by the transpose all selected subtools. Now at any time to clear the selection, you just need to hold control and shift and drag off on the canvas and that will reset the entire selection. So you can also do the reverse of the initial process. So I can hold Control and Shift and click off on a blank spot. This is going to first deselect everything. So you can see everything has this hatch marks here. And now I come through still holding Control and Shift and just select the parts that I want to select. And now I can use the Gizmo 3D here just to move those points. So once again to select, just hold Control and Shift and click on your mesh and that will now select these different subtools. And then if you want to reverse the selection, you can hold Control and Shift and tap on the canvas, and that will invert the selection. And then to clear the selection, you can just hold Control and Shift and drag, and that will clear the selection. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!